Hi, I'm Kai, and today I want to show you a top secret function in ePlan. This function is so top secret that most probably you can't find it. With this function, you can create a part of your PLC automatically in ePlan. How to handle this, what requirement you need to fulfill, and how it works is part of the video, and I will show you in the next couple of minutes. So stay tuned. So, what I have prepared here is an empty project. You can see here on my page navigator that there is only a title page, but nothing else. Here on my PLC navigator, you can see that I added some components. So when you make a right click and go to new device, you can add devices to your navigator without placing them in the drawings. And when we make a right click and change the view to rec orientated, you can see that this is a rec for a PLC Siemens 1500 including a CPU and a digital input card and digital output card. What I did as well is that I filled out the PLC structure data. So here, here and the rec ID. And also for the other components like the CPU, I also filled out that this is part of the rec zero and it's on position one. The same for the input and output cards. So I changed back the view to device orientated. And what we want to do now is that we want to create, for example, the rec overview in ePlan. What we can do is that we mark our cards. And now we go here to the tell me what you want to do and type in generate. And here you will find generate schematic. So this function is not available somewhere in your ribbon bar. And because we want to use it more frequently, we can add it to our ribbon bar. So therefore we make a right click here and customize ribbon. And we need to select here all comments and look for generate schematics. Here we have it. And I put it here under device PLC. I make a new command group and move it with the blue arrow to this command group. So now I have it here under device PLC. I have here generate schematic and can use it directly. So when we click on generate schematic, it open up this window. And here we have now our PLC card, our CPU input card and output card. And here we have a status. So what we can generate on this window are these functions here. We can generate a single line, a multi-line, a general generate. We can generate an overview and generate the rec overview. And depend what we select here, you will see that also the status change for your components. When you want to know what is wrong, you can make a right click and show message. And then you get a clear message that for example, for the rec, we don't have a macro as a variant A for our overview representation, what means we can't generate an overview. So typically you would not generate an overview for a rec, so it doesn't matter. And we also don't want to generate a single line. So when I deactivate this and just want to generate the rec overview, you can see that the status is okay. But what you also know now is that you need to fulfill some requirements for your macros. For example, when you want to generate the overview, you need to have a variant A on an overview type page for this device. The same is here for the rec layout. We can click F1. And here in the ePlan help, you can also get a lot of information about this function. And for example, when you want to generate the page rec, lay rec layout, you need to have a macro and a variant E of the page type overview. So this is the requirement you need to fulfill. It seems that all the selected components have this because the status is green here. That means we can now select the page where we want to create our PLC overview. So we select 
for example, page one. And click OK. Well, now sometimes it needs some time that we see it here. Now we have it. And we can mark it and copy. And the rec overview should be on one page. So we can also paste it to the others. And click OK. You can also save your configuration. I don't do it in a moment. And what you can see now is that the PLC function is created here and you have a new page with your overview, rec overview. So what happened here? Why is this not in line with the other ones? ePlan place your macros directly on the same position like you have created the macro. So what we need to do is that we need to upgrade this macro. So we shift this here to this position, to the right position. And then we can go to master data, create. And we select our macro here. And now it's important that you select the representation type overview and the variant E. This is the requirement to get this function. So we click OK and we want to replace it. And now we can make undo. So now is the project empty again. And we, <clears throat> we go to our function again. Now we need, first we need to select here our cards, go to the function again, and paste in here the same page like before. Now you can see that also our digital input card is placed on the right position. And now when you decide that you want to have also other parts of your PLC, for example, you want to create an overview from your input and output card, you can mark these two cards and generate overview. And add here, for example, page two and for the output card, page three. And now you have automatically generated the overview page. So we also want to create the multi-line page for our input card. This should be on page 10. And now ePlan also creates the input card depending on the macro. What do you think about this function? Did you know it already? And do you use it? Please leave a comment. Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video, which I recommend you on the right side. Grow your e-blend skills.